Back before winter hit, we ran into town to pick up some pallets. The yard that we got them from was a total mess, but we found some good ones and cleaned up the rest. These are the pallets that I used on the chicken coop build, along with some other recycled materials. Then a month or so ago, we got these cute little ducklings followed by three adorable little chicks like a week later. And they're all growing so fast and almost ready to put in our coop. So I decided to build a duck house. I broke down about four pallets for this project and got right to work. If you know us, you know we're all about building on a budget. And I wanted to make this duck house primarily out of pallet lumber or any other recycled materials I could find. It didn't take too long to get the main structure all framed out. And I based the dimensions of the duck house to a frame that we had something shipped in so that I could use it for a little duck run with a pond. The roof is a piece of OSB scrap from another project. And then I'm just doing a simple vertical pallet siding. I'm getting my chicken wire attached and stretched over the metal frame. Our ducks and chickens are completely free range and they have access to our whole 35 acres, but it's nice to have a safe enclosed area for them during evening and harsh weather. Now, because of some of the pallet slats being kind of damaged, I decided to do horizontal siding on the front so that I wouldn't have to break down any more pallets. We have all kinds of underlayment scraps, so I ripped some strips down and used those to seal off the joints between the pallet slats and it just gave it a nice finished look. Now with having predators in the area, we want a nice strong door. For the frame of our door, we're using a two by two. Now the panel of the door will be OSB that can be recessed into the frame. We're gluing and clamping our pieces for the door together. And as added measure, we'll nail it as well. As always, we're using our favorite Gorilla Glue that you activate with water. I'm doing horizontal pallet panels on the door as well as the underlayment strips. 
We need a frame to mount our roofing to over the duck run. So we'll have some hinges, but this back part will actually be attached to the run and to the coop. We'll break it down into two frames. So we'll have a front and a back, and then it'll hinge between the two frames. We actually had some spare hinges and screws in our tool trailer, and then I broke down some stilts that I had made the kids a few years ago. They were a little busted, and we were able to utilize the lumber and the screws. We need to cut down our metal roofing and to do that we're going to score the metal, bend it, and hopefully it should snap off. Now we did have to purchase this metal roofing. We got it from Home Depot. It was about $30 for this sheet. It matches what we used on the chicken coop which fortunately was given to us but I used all of that on that project. Now a little makeshift pond for our ducklings. This tub was about $10 from Tractor Supply. Let's lug this bad boy down there and get everything secured. The chickens wasted no time coming over and inspecting the new digs. And the kids are always so willing to help out. They gave us a hand putting rocks along the foundation of the duck house. We're attaching the duck run to the chicken run. And then Jeff is removing the bolts here and here from the metal frame. And we'll actually just use the holes to screw right into the duck house. I'm cutting an opening here in the chicken wire so that the two runs can be one. We're getting our frame attached to the run so that we can mount our roofing. And a latch to keep those predators out. We brought a heat lamp down because the evenings can get pretty chilly and their feathers are still coming in. A nice little expansion 
to our birdhouse. Now make sure and hit subscribe so that you can follow our crazy journey up here on the Mesa and catch all our latest DIYs.